Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have a special order from Drum Ghouls. They actually sent this really cute typewriter sticker with it, and I love how they put the fountain pen right there. It's so cute. I like the holographic look. I have the new St. Patrick's Limited Release Noodler's Ink. Lucky Shamrock Ink. I'm really excited to try this. So the word on the street is that it is very layerable. So the first layer should be kind of like a really light teal. And the more you layer, the more St. Patrick's Day green it will get. So this was the last limited release that they did. This was the Catfish Cupid's Legion and that really cool pinky it was supposed to be kind of a red. I think the more you layer this one as well, the redder it did get when I played around with it. But it was definitely more of a pink. Have the Tome Away River Paper and the Onion Skin. And that last ink did bleed through just a touch. That was a very wet ink. All right, so I'll be doing a writing sample, a spatter, and a swab, all the good stuff today. I'm gonna make sure you give Noodler's ink a really good shake. They fill their inks all the way to the top of that bottle. So you wanna make sure you give it a good shake and be very careful when you open it up. Go ahead and start off with the swab, onion skin, and I'm going to really drag this down. And I'll do a spatter real quick as well. Oh, this is a really tight one. A really tight syringe. Might be a little difficult. Trying to get a little clover out of it. That's close enough. And for my fountain pen today, it's going to be a Peniter Avatar. This is that lovely all black. And this will be a medium nib. I'm really enjoying these limited releases that Noodlers is doing. I think it's fun. Something a little bit different. If I can encourage this. Oh, 
That's a really neat looking teal that really does go to kind of a St. Patty's Day green. All right. So we have just right 2024 up in the corner. I really like this color. That is pretty. It goes on darker than I was expecting based on kind of what the description was. That's really pretty. Get a little bit of a closer look on this one. So I will say I don't think that the tone overall is presenting as well on camera as in person. It's much more vivid and less dull in person. Let's see if I got a good little spot. It's a very nice ink, writes very well. This pen tends to be a little bit dry. Likes this ink a lot. Slide on over to the onion skin. See if we've got a little spot. And usually stuff writes a little bit wetter on the onion skin paper, spreads a little bit more. It's doing that. And it does like this paper a lot. I think it's pretty. But I think I actually enjoy writing with it more on the Tomoe River paper. Just by a hair. Alright, I'm going to let this dry for a bit. Come back and see what we're dealing with. I mean, we've got a lot of interesting color happening here. I'm going to try to see if I can get this to show up as vividly on camera as it is in person because the color is really just popping and I like it. So as this has been drying, the color is still retaining. It's got this really gorgeous vivid green to it. I'm getting more variation from the Tomoe River paper. little bit through here on the onion skin. So really gorgeous. I mean, this color could go right into summer and be more beachy than shamrock, but I really like this color. I think this might stay in my pen for a little bit because I don't know, it's just kind of fun, a little bit different. I like the ability to shade with it. That's really cool. So if you've been watching and you waited, you are actually in luck because I bought a second bottle just to give away. So to one lucky winner, you have until St. Patrick's Day. I'll probably choose uh, St. Patrick's Day night, the winner. Uh, just leave a comment below telling me about your current favorite fountain pen-ism or pen. If you like a ballpoint, whatever it is you'd like to tell me, let me know below and you can tell me what you think of the ink for all, you know, whatever. Just let me know what your current fountain pen thought is. Thank you so much for watching.